Hi, today I'm getting ready to go to a barbecue, so I'm going to uh, make a video on how to make uh, Xinjiang chuar spices um, for uh, mutton kebabs or beef kebabs, or in my case I'm going to be doing chicken drumsticks. Now for the um, spice mix, the most important thing that we're going to need is cumin, lots of cumin. Now I have the, uh, the whole seed here and I'm going to roast them and then um, grind them myself, but if you have powdered it'll still work. We're also going to need some coriander. Uh, coriander is the seed from cilantro. Um, we're going to need some red pepper, and then I'm going to add a few other things, uh, garlic salt, onion salt, a little bit of cardamom. I'm not going to use the whole cardamom because one cardamom pod is far too strong for what we want. Um, I'm going to put in a little bit of nutmeg, cinnamon, and uh, cloves, um, just a little tiny bit, just to give it something else. Um, a little bit of Sichuan peppercorn, again, just a very little bit, and a little piece of um, Chinese star anise. All right, for uh, to start out, we're going to uh, start heating up our pan. We're going to get our pan very, very hot, and then we're going to put our spices in when the pan turns off. So we don't burn our spices. We get the pan hot, we turn it off, then we put the spices in, and the pan is still hot, it heats the spices, but as it heats the spices it cools off. So we're going to wait for the pan to get hot. Now for this, um, I'm going to use six tablespoons of cumin. As I said, turn this off, and put six. Lots of cumin. I'm using heaping, so that's four spoonfuls, that's about six total. And one tablespoon of cumin, or of coriander. And I don't really have very much coriander left, so that's enough. Again, six to one. Cumin to coriander, mostly cumin. If you don't like cilantro, you don't even need it. And then, as I said, I'm going to add just a very little bit of the, this, maybe like a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns. And I'm just going to use two pieces of this star anise, because star anise is very, very powerful. And I'm going to mix it around, let it absorb the heat, and you can smell it's very fragrant, and then we're going to grind it. Okay, now we're going to get our spices into our spice grinder. I hope you're not doing this by mortar and pestle. Just carefully get it into the grinder. You can grind half of it now, half of it later, or you can grind it all at once. Once it's in powdered form, you can mix in the other ingredients. I think I'll be able to get all of this in. We're gonna close this. See, there's this little cloud in here. The moisture and the roasting causes that. It's going to smell very, very good when it comes out. I like to pulse the spices to make sure that everything's getting churned. And then open it up. You see, this cloud comes out. And it smells very good. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to add maybe a tablespoon of garlic salt. I'm just going to eye it. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Not too much. A teaspoon or half a teaspoon of onion salt. And then a shake of the rest. Uh, well, a shake of cardamom. A pinch of nutmeg, shake or two of cloves, and a fair amount of cinnamon, but still nothing compared to what we've already got. And then stir. Now this is mostly cumin. I've forgotten to add the red pepper, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add a tablespoon of red pepper. 
cayenne. That should be good. And now we're just going to coat our uh, drumsticks and then put them on the grill. We can add a little bit more later if we want. Uh, with um, meat, it's good to serve with uh, whole yogurt or with sour cream. And one additional thing, um, if you're dealing with chicken and you're going to grill things with the skin or bake them with the skin, um, the best place to put the spices is actually under the skin. So you put this right here and with your finger you push it under the skin. This will ensure that the skin gets all nice and crispy which is what we want the skin to do and it'll also keep the spices from getting burnt. Just try not to get too much of a too thick of a pocket in there. And, and once you have that, sort of spread it all out and go on to the next one.